Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, just joining me on a on a pretty rainy Sunday out in the countryside here in England today. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video to talk about something that you may have seen. So there's been a lot of talk in social media recently about something that has changed in Amendment 2 of the 18th edition, which is at the very beginning of the book, it's clarified what it means by a certain wording in the book. So it's clarified the meaning of the verbs um, shall and should and basically the difference between a recommendation and a requirement. Now this is something that um, the guys at eFix made a video about recently, you might want to check that out, it's a good video. Um, what I wanted to point out today is that even though this is something that's relatively new in uh, BS 761 it's something that I've seen quite a few times and you will come across in other types of standards and specifications. So. If you're ever pricing a job and you're reading a specification that's been written by the consultant for the project, you will see this kind of um, use of uh, specific language in those documents. And so it's really important to bear in mind that the words shall, should, can, will, may, they all mean different things. And it's really important to bear this in mind um, that it's not just in BS 761 you'll see this, it's in other types of standards and specifications as well. And I've come across this in various situations before um, and it's, it's something that is just really important to bear in mind if you're ever pricing a job or if you're working on a project and you see this kind of thing and if there's, if there's any, uh, any confusion about what is required then it's really worth asking a question you know I, I mean I can remember way back in the day I was working on a project that I was running at the time and I'm talking about 15 years or so ago now so it's a good while ago um, and as an electrician it was a really really lovely project uh, it had pretty much every type of electrical work that you can think of here in the UK. It was a project that was, you know, one that I was really, really pleased with the outcome. Uh, the standard of the work was, was lovely. It was a really, really good project. But when I think back to that project, the thing that I remember most is all the heated debates about about money, uh, about uh, what's in the contract, what's not in the contract. And, and I can remember having some really, as I say, really heated debates about this with, with clients and other people that I've worked with. So it's really, really important to bear this in mind. So just to remember that specific wording in documents like contracts, specifications, British standards. I mean, I think there's even a British standard about how to write a specification and the, and the use of verbs and, uh, and so on in these, uh, when you're writing a specification. So really, really important to bear in mind. And uh, yeah, this project that I worked on back in the day, it was it was a big project that I ran. And as as I say, I really really remember all of the heated debates, and I can remember having some stand up arguments with people about things. And so it's really really worth bearing in mind, asking a question at the early stage because that's what project management is about. It's about mitigating risks that are involved in a project. And so if you can, if you find something that is if you find something that's confusing or you're not sure about in a specification or a drawing, ask the question. Ask the question of your client and don't leave it to chance. Obviously, if you see the words must, shall, required, then obviously that's pretty straightforward. But if you're sitting there and you're thinking, shall I, can I, may I, can't I, ask the question. It's a really good idea to ask the question if you're ever unsure about anything. There's no such thing as a silly question ever. Um, if you'd like to hear more about stories from uh, projects that I've worked on, please let me know in the comments. And if you haven't already done so, please click over here to subscribe to my channel.